Scared? Sorry, but this is one horror movie where closing your eyes won't help. Freddy's coming for you. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of the new Nightmare on Elm Street. When is he gonna stop? What does he want from us? Why are you screaming? I haven't even caught you yet. I wanna wake up! Brothers had a dream, a dream of reviving the lucrative horror films of the 1970s and 80s to which they now have the rights. And the man who's made that dream come true is Mr. Michael Bay. And you thought he was just all about explosions. Nope, he's also about scaring the shit out of you as Bay has made an impressive name for himself in the horror genre with slick productions that don't pull their punches. I couldn't even get through the opening credits of his remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They were that scary. And as a bonus, he makes these movies for cheap. Yes, you can see why the man's a dream come true for Warner Brothers. So what's he done to Elm Street? First off, he's brought some star power. Watchmen's Jackie Earl Haley is the new Freddy Krueger, while Twilight's Kellen Lutz gets the brooding spotlight this time around. And hey, you want some wicked dreams? Well, Bay's brought in top music video director Sam Bayer, who's worked with the likes of Nirvana, Green Day, and My Chemical Romance to make those nightmares really pop. Will this more dramatic reboot be able to recapture the magic of the 1984 original? It has the original Freddy Krueger, Robert Englund's blessing, but creator Wes Craven isn't too pleased about being out of the loop on this one. I guess Craven's worst nightmare is to see the franchise he created survive without him. Too bad nightmares are what Freddy does best. What did you think of the new nightmare? Scary as hell. Woo! My friend thought it was scary. I was just like uh, watching him jump through the whole movie. So this new one is actually scary. It's Ooh. You know, yeah. So you were scared. I was scared in the movie. Yeah. Did you um, hide your eyes? Um, no. That's what I like about <laughs> yeah scary movies. If you hide your eyes, then what's the point? I mean, I'm a big fan of the new, um, you know, Elm Street or Nightmare, yeah. but I thought it could have been a little bit better. It was alright, but I just didn't like the fact that it was a different guy. I'm used to, you know, the old guy. What do you think of? Jack Earl Haley is the new Freddy Krueger. I liked him. I wasn't sure at first whether or not he was going to be as good as the old guy, you know, but he, he was good. He looked like an old man, but burnt. That's what he looked like. He's, but he's supposed, yeah. to, he's supposed to be burnt, but you know, yeah, is it working for you? No, his face looked like plastic surgery or something like that. I didn't like his face or anything. It looks fake. Oh, do you think he could win you over maybe? Or, nah, I'm a 100% I'm a fan of Freddy, have always been, ever since I was like 15, 13. I didn't, nah. I like it at the end where they show him more and maybe they took their more time to put the makeup on. He looked more real at the end, but during the movie he didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. In the end, he sold it? At the end, he sold it, yeah. I kind of like this one because it's a little bit darker. Yeah, you like that, that? Like it first started off. So it gives you that, that different way of looking at Freddy, you know, like the real deep Freddy Krueger type. Yeah, kind of like, like a character study. Like a character, yeah, like Jason. Oh, yeah? Michael Myers. Why are you such a fan of the Freddy movies? I don't know, I just love them. <laughs> I love uh, horror movies, that's my thing. I love Freddy Krueger's, um, you know, he got a nice way of killing people, different style. Yeah. It's humorous. He mixes it up. It's different, you know, different. It's funny at the same time, and it's scary, it's just, it's everything you want to see in a horror film. So what would you say to people out there, should they see the new Nightmare? Yes, they should see it. They should definitely see it. If you like Freddy, you know, if you like Freddy movies, this one is better than all the other ones that came out. How would you compare it to the original films? Uh, just as good, maybe even better. I mean, go watch it. Everybody has a different opinion, you know? This guy, he's okay, but I don't know. I guess probably we just gotta see what happens if they make a sequel. They say if the first one is cheesy, then the second one is gonna be a um, blockbuster hit. Ah. It's always the second one, always gonna be the blockbuster hit, so I believe the second one is gonna be very great. Oh, so would you see a second one yes, of these? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. With uh, the new Freddy? Yes, I will. I think he'll shot, be better. Right? Yes. Yeah, give yes. him a shot. What do you give it on a 1 to 10? I gave it a 10. A 6. A 7 to 8. 8. Sounds like Jack Uriel Haley still has some work to do, but he's off to a pretty good start. His audiences give his new Nightmare a 7.5. And don't forget that a Nightmare on Elm Street is the focus of this week's One Sentence Review Challenge. If you've seen the movie, leave your 1 to 10 rating below, as well as your One Sentence Review. Whoever writes the best one gets a free pair of AMC movie tickets, and I'll announce the winner this Sunday on my Facebook page. I'm Grace Randolph, and you've just gone beyond the trailer.